So the first thing we're going to want to do is take the unit and flip it over onto its side here. And we're gonna remove these screws on the bottom of the unit to get access to the batteries. You can just use a Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and pull the pack out. There is a connector on the side here, and this should just pop out when you pull the pack out. So the way these packs are constructed is with two batteries in series. So we're going to take the old batteries out of here. There's just a little bit of adhesive holding the plastic case to these. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. Just kind of stick my finger underneath here. And we wanna get the adhesive to release. Now we have access to the batteries. There is adhesive on the other side. So if you just kind of hold down one and slowly pull up, it will release. And we're gonna just disconnect the one battery. Make note of where the cables went. So the black cable on the lower battery goes to the positive. So you can see this goes up to the top battery and the one that goes to the connector goes to the negative terminal. So I'm gonna disconnect these. Grab my replacement battery here and we're gonna go ahead and just connect the leads to the replacement battery. So the one that comes from the top battery goes to the positive. Make sure to push it on all the way. And then we're gonna put the negative on and lay it back down. Now, typically there's enough adhesive left to keep the batteries in place to put the pack in, but if you do have double-sided tape, you could put extra double-sided tape in here, but I'm not going to. Let's go ahead and take the top battery out in the same way. So I'm gonna hold push down on this one and angle this up. You'll hear the adhesive start releasing. Now we're gonna need to disconnect the leads. Grab our second new battery. Connect the leads. Red to the red. Black to the black. And we're going to want to move over this little pad to the new battery. I found it's easy to just get a scraper and pull it off. And we're going to stick this onto the new one. Go ahead and put the battery into the position. Go ahead and put the cover back on. And now all we have to do is put this back in the unit. Now I found the easiest way to do this is with the UPS on its back like this, because we have to plug the plug into here. I usually will set the pack right here and then plug this into the plug on the inside of the unit. Now that we have the pack connected, we're gonna go ahead and rotate this in. Make sure the wires don't get pinched. And slide the new pack in. Go ahead and put the cover back on and put the screws back in the unit. As you can see here, if I press the on button and hold it, once the unit beeps, let it go. It's gonna go ahead and test the pack Go ahead and plug the UPS into the wall and make sure it switches over to charging. So just like that, I have new batteries in my UPS. You can see it's successfully charging the batteries and it's delivering power to the outlets. Now I can get many more years of service out of this unit and when they die in about three to four years, you can go ahead and replace them again, just like we showed here.